it's Australia. It's only like a one hour flight. So yeah, that's what know, I was thinking. Same it's like, sharks are, are over there, but I don't, I don't know. I don't really think of sharks as as much there's no uh, you have a you have a total radical fear of sharks huh? fuck yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> awful they're scary scary oh creatures man i'm For fucking real. horrified how yeah, close have you, you come to be. them you should be um very close <laughs> uh, yeah i got bumped off my board when i was a kid oh no surfing at a place uh you know sort of near my house but the water was the 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 sand was black so yeah, like I really couldn't, the, the water was actually clear, but the sand was black. So it bumped me and I never really got to see what it was, but I'm pretty sure it was a shark. And uh, there's a lot of sharks in Hawaii. And a lot of <laughs> sharks, wherever the waves are good, it seems like there's a lot of sharks, man. Yeah. Well, that's not a coincidence, is it? I don't know, man. They're just everywhere. Yeah. They're crazy. Is you know, it's funny about sharks is I was, I was it, there's, you know, I, I, growing up, I always thought, you know, the only real sharks I had to worry about were, you know, great whites. And, you know, I was born and raised in Hawaii. That's, that's where I grew up surfing. And, um, you know, I always thought, like, great white sharks are always in, like, really cold places. I don't really have to worry it around home. And they've been finding a ton of great white sharks around, you know, where I live now. They're, they're all over Hawaii now. And um, uh, great white sharks are actually warm-blooded. So they can actually, um, they can totally adjust their, their uh, I guess, I guess their body temperature to be able to, to totally survive and thrive in warm water as well as cold. So they just go wherever the hell they want. <laughs> yeah. Every time I go to Hawaii, whenever I turn on the news, the local news, some dude got bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How often does it happen there? Pretty often. There's a lot of <laughs> sharks. And you, you know what's funny is it never used to happen when I was a kid. It wasn't even really a thought for me. I mean, I was scared of sharks and all that stuff, but people didn't really get start getting chomped until I was a little bit older. Uh, in the last in the last ten years, there's been tons and tons of shark attacks in Hawaii. Uh, mm -hmm. a, a friend a friend of mine, Bethany Hamilton, she's a really really talented surfer. She got bit. She got her arm chomped right off her body. Oh, that girl, like that really young girl. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In Kauai, surfing perfect waves out with her friend, and shark came up and just ripped her ar arm right off her body. <sighs> How yeah. gangster is she that she just gets right back on the board? And she survived. She's yeah. badass. She's super badass. She she actually um, surfed some of the biggest waves. Uh, all year last year, she got towed into a place called Jaws on Maui and was surfing 50-foot waves with one arm, um, you know, getting pounded by giant waves. And she, she paddles into some huge waves with one arm. Wow. Yeah, and gets held underwater with one arm. That's I, incredible. I, I imagine getting held under from a, a giant wave underwater, you know, like trying to, you know, j just, I mean, I know people who are terrified of surfing big waves with two arms. And, they, you know, they're underwater wanting a breath. And uh, she's under there with one arm. Imagine having like your arm tied to your side and having to try and swim to the surface in big waves. It's pretty scary. So the shark thing, what did they attribute it to anything? The reason why they've been biting more people lately? Yeah, it's super debatable though. You know, like a global warming type thing. Yeah, there's all types of stuff like that. There's you know, there's a lot less fish than it used to be. And then oh. the other thing is, you know, the thing I think is a is a huge component is is like in the '60s if someone got bit. They would do a shark call, like they like people will get pissed, you know. Some little girl get bit, and then all the fishing boats would go out and kill a ton of sharks, and that's what happened in Hawaii. You know, there was I think in the '60s there was there was some shark attacks, and um, there was a huge shark call. Like people would just go out and kill as many sharks as they could, and so it decimated the shark populations in Hawaii, and then and then they were uh, and then they were protected in like the '70s and '80s. So now there's this mega shark shark population because they're protected. You know, you're not really supposed to kill sharks, so there's an overabundance of big sharks. I wonder if people would be the same if there was dragons. Would we protect dragons? We're, we're retarded. Yes. We really yes. are retarded. For sure we would, 100%. Like, you're not going to wipe out the fucking sharks, folks. Just relax. <laughs> Just kill them all around where people are. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy that they figured out, like, you know, I mean, technology for every single thing, but they don't have some sort of, you know... I was I was thinking it'd be so, you know, like with in this day and age, like we can do the craziest shit with technology. Like, why can't they put buoys around a surf break with like some weird magnetic thing that shoots down to the bottom of the ocean at that, you know, where it's like 30 feet deep, you know, like a half mile out from the break. And then everyone can swim there. Everyone can surf there, whatever the hell it is. Like, how come they don't have that? It right. seems so basic. It does seem like something they could figure out how to do, like some sort of an electronic fence. Yeah, it keeps exactly. them out. Yeah, <clears throat> like, but it, like they have that for your dog. Yeah, you, know? you can put that in your yard, and the dog can't go past it. But it'll probably give you dick cancer. 
you know, they'll probably find out. Shark dick. Yeah, all these <laughs> all these surfers will start getting dick cancer. And everybody will go, what the fuck? Oh, it's the fence. It's the fence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can't yeah. Yeah, we can't put up the magnetic fence because all the shark all the all the sharks will get dick cancer and then Yeah, if the sharks get dick cancer, that, then PETA will get upset at you. It's game over. Yeah. Yeah, become a huge issue. <laughs> I'm not a fan of sharks. I don't like them. They scare the fuck out of me, and that's what's keeping me from surfing. Because yeah. surfing looks like it's fucking awesome. Yeah, you know, and that brings me back to the shark thing. Like the that that would be like just a horrific way to go. Oh yeah, the, those those things are enormous, and they, when they want to kill you, they'll kill you. you know, they just cut right up. through you. Well, this is a strange animal. It's like nature's cleanup crew. Nature's just decided like there's just yeah. too much shit in this ocean, and so we're gonna just develop this insane yeah. thing that doesn't even it doesn't even get to sleep did you see the footage of the, look at that did, did you see the footage of the surf contest that happened last year in africa where yes. the guy you know they get attacked by the the shark that's a good buddy of mine and and uh they i mean that was like a 18 to 20 foot long great white shark yeah pull that up jamie and <laughs> when i saw i was on a plane when that happened and i was landing in honolulu and i turned my phone on and had like all these crazy messages and from all my friends you know because it's just it's just you know, it's a, it's a really small world in the surf world, and that was like that was no accident that the that this giant great white shark was within a couple feet of him. You yeah, know? look at that. Like at everyone's that. like, oh, it wasn't trying to attack him. It wasn't trying. It wasn't. It didn't mean anything. That great white shark is that close to a human being. It was having a real good look. You know. Yeah. I think. Oh fuck it, yeah! It may not have been wanting to attack him or whatever, but it didn't just get accidentally stuck in his leash. You know what I mean? When you do that, that, that right there. Is as scared as a human being could possibly be without getting killed right then. Yeah, and he's looking at it. It's really? behind him. And he's swimming. That's it right there, right? That's it in oh, front yeah. of him? It's, that that it was large right, body? It was right there, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, he's hard as nails. And, and, and the other guy, Julian Wilson, um, that, was, that was Mick Fanning in the... In the blue, and look at him. He's just uh, that feeling when he that. got up on that raft. And <gasps> when that was going down, it was it was a full on ordeal of like you know it didn't happen like real quick, and he just jumped on. It's like that was like a lot a lot of seconds right there happening. His board got taken away from him, and he had to swim and splashy splashing water, you know, panicking. And then the other guy, Julian Wilson, in his heat, was a hundred feet away and s was paddling full speed towards him to try and help. Instead of like that's like that's like when you show your true colors, you know. It's yeah. Like, that's when you know that shit's going down. Is when you see a friend of yours getting what he thought was attacked by a great white. Yeah, you probably. It's probably just a switch that goes off in your head. You probably don't even. It's probably just pure lizard thinking. You know, it's yeah. like the survival feeling. Like when that thing hit his board, and you're in full on yeah. panic mode. You realize, like, you have got to get the fuck away from this thing. Yeah. There's no other options. Well, I watched it, and you you see him re. It, he doesn't like go. Hey, what was that? He reacts super oh, yeah. quick. He's ready to like fight. If that thing was there, I'm 100 percent sure he would have started swinging right right away. <laughs> if it was right there, you know. <laughs> I have a friend actually. I have a friend wh where I live. <clears throat> um, he's actually he lives on the same island as me. He's from from where I live, and a tiger shark came up, grabs him, takes him underwater by the side. Grabs him oh. with a full mouth bite on his ribs and his hip oh. and takes him underwater, like six feet underwater. And he had a straight up punch up with the thing underwater. Oh my God. He was beating the shit out of the shark. How, he's a big dude. It's hard to get like. He was, at the time, he was like 16 years old. His name was Ulu. And he's a local Hawaiian kid from where I live. And it took him underwater and he straight up fought the shark. Wow. And it ended up letting him go. He had like, I think he had like 200 stitches or 300 stitches or something. I mean, his whole side was just cut open. It's amazing that he's and okay. It's amazing he's okay. I can't even imagine what that would have, you know, just looking there and the thing, like looking at the eyeball, it would have been right there, like staring at him, you know? And he, just, and he said he was just hitting the thing as hard as he possibly could. Luckily, he's a big dude. It's crazy that they're attributing it, well, it makes sense though, to overfishing, that they just yeah. don't have enough to eat anymore. It makes sense. Totally makes sense. And And the thing is, no matter how many attacks there are, like there's been... There's been a shitload of attacks in Australia, a lot, in certain pockets, like certain areas. And there's one area in eastern Australia, like on the east coast, that has had a ton of attacks in the last five years. And another place on the west coast. And there's all these groups that are just like, nope, you can't do anything to the sharks. You cannot do anything to the sharks, you know? Well, who are these groups and what, what is their like agenda? Environmentalist groups that are just like, no matter what, you can't, you can't hurt nature type of thing, you know? <laughs> is there a shortage of sharks? Well... I've, man, it's 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 hard. But the bottom line is, if there were less sharks, there'd be less attacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 
it's oh, difficult. Man. There's not a real there's not a real solution where where you can 